Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and today I'm talking to Cyril Werlin here at Cascadian Wood Tech in Union Bay. It's the new workshop here. One reason we moved down here is because we outgrew the other shop, which was just about a thousand square feet. What have you got make. now? And we got about 6,000 square feet, which 4,000 square feet is pure production surface. Wow. So you've increased the employment as well. Like you've got more people working for you now, right? Exactly right, yeah. So we grew from two guys full time last year to four guys full time this year, plus we have another uh, four guys part time working with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we got uh, one crew, which you can see in the background, one crew is working here full time, like producing stuff. Mm -hmm. And the other crew we got on the job site, uh, installing and putting everything up. So what do you do at Cascading Wood Tech? Um, our main business is custom millwork and timber frame, mm -hmm. where timber frame is like, we build everything from a little structure, like a porch or something, to a full size timber frame home which can be up to four, five, six thousand square feet in total. Now you've also been involved in like creating big sets, like you did the TED events in Vancouver and yeah. you were in Toronto. Tell me a bit about that. Mm -hmm. So that uh, the TED talks in Vancouver, that's a reoccurring project for us like every, every year. Mm -hmm. And we did it two years so far and we're gonna do it for another three years. And it's in February where we go over with a full crew we got uh, 15 guys working 24 hours, wow. just straight through, right? Right, right. Well, not straight through 24 hours, but like in shifts, right. 24 hours for six days. And we put up the whole stage where uh, the people afterwards sit, and it's 1,800 people who can, see, uh, can sit there. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, we go there, we just take everything apart and we store it away. For, for a year trip. and then for the next trip, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So what happened in Toronto, because you did a similar thing in Toronto, didn't you? Yeah, so we did a project for Nike. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a marathon over there and it's for the same group. We did the TED Talks, they called us up and we, f uh, we flew a full crew over there for four days and set up a TV frame structure for them. Uh, for that event mm -hmm. and then afterwards got torn down and stored away again. So what's special about what you're doing here that that they need to import you to Vancouver and then Toronto? Like like what makes you guys different? Well, what makes it different is like we hear that from those guys themselves. So what right. it's different is they can call us up on a Thursday's example and they know that we would be capable of sending capable guys out there the next day. That's what happened with the Nike one. They mm -hmm. called us on Wednesday and on Thursday afternoon, four guys sat in the plane up here in Comox, flew out to Toronto, put that whole thing up. And it's also the guys we employ here, they're all like uh, tradespeople. Mm -hmm. So they all have 20 years, 25 years of experience in timber framing, millwork in, in the wood industry. And that makes it uh, different from everybody else, right? So we, we employ specialized people. Mm -hmm. And people see that and they know that and it's a different, uh, yeah, clients tell us that a lot, that they feel like they're more kind of like uh, safe with us, kind of, because mm -hmm. it seems like people know what they're doing and it's not somebody just coming in and just does something and yeah. Now you came from Switzerland, yeah. you, you learned your trade and your craft in Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, have you had problems finding qualified people here? Uh, no, not really. No? Not at all, no. So we have, uh, it's me and my business partner, we're both Swiss. And then everybody else, they're Canadian guys, like even local guys here from the valley. Mm -hmm. And we had no issue whatsoever to find uh, good people. And in my opinion, it's also like, it's it's a part of, of our philosophy too. Like how much are you willing to invest in people as well? Mm -hmm. And are you willing to train them? and bring them up to the standard you want for your business. Right. And that's may, maybe one of the, the things here in the Valley that some businesses are not willing to do. They want to keep uh, the employees a bit further away and they just want to do it their way. Where we are, have a different, uh, we have a different approach here. So we have all the guys working here. It's kind of a big group of, of craftsmen. We are all young guys. We're willing to work. We're willing to do something. And we also give them opportunity to do whatever they feel like it's best mm -hmm. and give them the leeways and everything. And it's not like a super like strict environment here where we say like, oh, you have to work from then till then or then to then. We know that people have families and everything. 
and giving our employees and the guys to work for us full time that that leeway mm -hmm. it always comes back and that's right. what makes it different uh, different in my opinion when you got guys right. like that working for you yeah <laughs> so uh, anything new and exciting gonna coming up in the horizon like in 2016 for you guys yeah so 2016 so we just closed a, a big uh, project just yesterday it's a whole timber frame house like out on the west coast where we have to barge in the materials and everything right. and the house itself is about 9,000 square feet we use 70,000 board feet of uh, Douglas fir timber for that project uh -huh. and it's all local so the whole wood is from the island and it, it doesn't leave the island for processing so it's from the island gets cut here gets manufactured in here gets barged up there gets put up there so that's one of the uh, our philosophy or, or our things as well make sure that we have local products and to stay local and yeah be local <laughs> well it's, it's always a pleasure to talk to you thank you so much it's really exciting for me to have you in this community um, it's really exciting to, for me to see somebody taking Vancouver Island wood and doing really cool stuff with it uh, so I look forward to hearing more from you thank you so much